Welcome to Gunpri Mums Reviews. Today I'm reviewing this Breville 850 watt waffle maker. Right, let's have a quick look at the box. See that it says Dioro ceramic coating. The plates are supposed to be really good on this. Some more information on the side. Easy to clean, removable plates and stuff. If you're going to read more you could just pause the video there because we'll be showing you the product in detail. Like that, right. Inside the box, before we get onto the main product, your waffles need room to breathe. Do not clip latch shut when cooking. It comes with this booklet that's an instruction manual and it tells you what's what and it also has recipes. You can make potato waffles with them as well. You can make potato waffles using this and then it gives you tips on care and cleaning. Just that. Now onto the main product. Now it's a funny thing to say but it's a good looking product so you could leave it out on your kitchen unit. You don't need to put it away. So I'll give you a quick overview of the product first. As you can see there, it's got Breville branding and it's got another sticker there. Faster cooking, scratch resistant. They're talking about the Dioro ceramic plates. Breville are very, very proud of them. Now it's got two of these lights there. When you turn it on, it lights up green and when it's ready for you to put the batter in, that would light up amber. There he has a latch there that says Dioro Ceramic. Now, as I've mentioned before, Breville are very proud of that. That's the plates. It's got these two buttons there on the side. I'll explain what they are in a moment. At the back. And then at the bottom, it has two rubber feet. And then it, a little sticker there telling you it's 850 watt and stuff. And then you wrap the cord around there. Now, as you can see, the cord isn't very long. But, I mean, if you've got it on your unit, it should be okay. You open it. These are Breville's Dioro ceramic plates. They're designed to transfer heat quicker than the standard non-stick coating. Breville say they're scratch resistant. Well, I guess time will tell. By the way, these plates, you do not put them in a dishwasher. They only hand wash to preserve the Dior ceramic coating but they are easy to clean because uh, I mean we, we've cleaned them they are really easy to clean so these buttons what I mentioned before I said I'll talk to you about them in a bit basically what you do is you push that to open and it comes off and they're really easy you can't they're easy to go in which I'll show you in a minute that's the heating element at the bottom here it tells you that it says low waffle plate so you can't get them wrong and then on, on if you can see here this it's got the latches there they match up with them but to put them back in just push them and you hold this that's it same for the top one push it comes off it's got them two holes there these fit in there and you just push this it fits on and then closes very nicely it is a sturdy product right now let me make some waffles I've turned the Breville on the waffle maker and it's green I'm just waiting for it to go amber then I can pour my batter in now Breville say before you use them grease both the waffle plates with a little oil based cooking spray I'm using some flora spray so I'll wait for it to go amber and then I'll put my butter in they recommend you put 75 milliliters of butter in the center the amber light has come on now, it's taken three minutes. I have been using this for about over a week now and it's been working fine. So lift the lamp. I'm spraying a bit of spray now on both sides. That's roughly about 75 milliliters. Let's pour it in the middle. plate's not very deep so if you do accidentally pour too much it's going to be a bit of a problem cleaning up one side done and the other one 75 milliliters on the other one hope I've got it all there now just simply lower the lid 
I've closed it now. It's very important to leave this latch open because you need to let the steam escape and obviously when the waffles are cooking they need to expand. So that's going to take about seven minutes so I'll be back once they're ready. It's been roughly seven minutes now I'm going to open it and check on it. And it's very important to take hold of this latch when you're opening it because the rest of the waffle maker will obviously be hot. As you can see, there's no timer on it, so you've got to obviously give it seven minutes or eight minutes. It's, it's, it's up to the individual and what butter you use as well. We've just used the normal butter here. The, as you can see, the middle is joint, so I have to cut, separate it before I put it onto a plate. I managed to split them now. I'm taking them out now. Just before I take them out, I left mine in for an extra minute because I like them slightly crunchy, but everyone has their own taste. But Brett would recommend seven minutes. There. Slightly brown on that side. Take the other one out. And Breville are really excited about the Dioro ceramic plates and as you can see it did come off really easy and they are easy to clean I must admit that one on that side it's same but as I said it's up to the individual how long you want to leave it for I'll just cut it from the middle just to show you as you can see there cooked all the way through I mean it is a, a, a good product and the taste is obviously whatever you put in the butter is up to the individual so there you have it my review of the Breville 850 watt waffle maker you get one year's guarantee with this now, I, have, I have had this for about a week and I've been using it it's been perfect the pros of it is it's a compact size and it's easy to store if you if you don't have enough room on your kitchen unit so you could store it away easily and the build quality on it is really good it is really sturdy the cons are there's not much room for overspills i measured approximately 75 milliliters now if i had gone over it would have spilled out and obviously i wouldn't have, it would have been a bit of a challenge to clean it because the plates are not deep enough to have room for overspill and the cables too. My other complaint is if you're elderly and you want to use a waffle maker, this latch is a bit difficult to open, it's a bit hard. But apart from that, the product is good. I, I, I will recommend this product. You can also get yours and start doing your waffles. My kids are absolutely over the moon. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.